hello everyone welcome back to the course and today we are going to design the restaurant screen and for that we need to pass the restaurant data so we're going to use the on press function here and we need to use the use navigation hook to navigate to the restaurant screen and we are going to use the navigate method here restaurant screen and we need to pass the restaurant data as well like this okay so i've already created the restaurant screen so let's import the restaurant data here you can use the use route hook to get the data that we passed through the restaurant card so now let's console all this data to check if you're getting the data so restaurant okay if we save this and move to the restaurant okay we are saw, we're seeing the data in the console that means we are getting the data now let's uh, remove this and design the restaurant screen let's move this and we're gonna have a scroll view here and in this view it should be relative and we're gonna have an image of the restaurant with a full and height of 72 and source of the item or image um, we haven't imported the image so let's do that okay great we're seeing the image so now let's design the back button the chapel opacity and let's design this button first absolute because we're going to show it at the top left four to and it should be rounded full okay so now we're going to use an icon here so for that let's just copy the icon from home screen uh, this okay we're going to use the arrow left icon stroke width of three stroke of theme colors we're going to use a theme color here like this okay we have a back button so now let's make it functional use our navigation method here we will use the go back method on the navigation it will take the user back to the previous screen so let's test it okay so nice it's working now let's design the next part which is uh, we're going to have a container here uh, this container will have all the rounded corners at the top so we're going to give it a border radius of top left and top right border top right radius 40 like this and uh, let's give it a background of white as well let's give it a minus margin on the top because it's going to overlap on the restaurant image so if I save this you can see it but when we show the uh, restaurant name it's going to look good so let's add a view for the restaurant screen and all the details about the restaurant let's add the restaurant name one should be bold item dot name okay now it's looking good now for the next part we are going to display all the uh, data that we used in the restaurant card so let's just copy that from here uh, we are going to use these views because these are the stats of the restaurant so let's just copy these here we are going to have a container view for these to flex them so let's just leave it like that and use the spacing horizontally okay so let's copy these here let me just correct the indentation okay looking good now we got all the reviews are uh, the food category and the location of the restaurant so the only thing left to do is add a description of the restaurant so let's do that we're going to add item dot description here okay so we're showing the description the next part is to show the menu of the restaurant so let's add a view for that 36 and background of white so let's just add a text of menu here 
padding vertical check should be to excel menu and under the menu we're going to display all the dishes because all the restaurants have all a list of dishes so we're going to map through all of them and show all the dishes here dish and index we'll use another component dish row here which we haven't created yet so let's just create the dish row component dish row and let's import it here and pass the dish data item is going to be dish and the key is going to be the index okay we already seeing the dish row so let's move to the dish row and design it first we need to get the item let's add the view for the dish card so item should be center background of white padding of three it should be rounded shadow of 2xl and then margin bottom of 3 and margin horizontally 2 ok so now we are going to have a view for the image so let's just use the image the image should be rounded and the uh, style should be 100 height and 100 width ok so let's add the source of the image item dot image and now we are seeing the image nice now let's add the, the dish description and the dish name let's add a view for that flex one because this is going to expand through all of the width let's add a view for the title and the description text Text should be Excel item dot name. Okay, we're seeing the name now. Let's add the description of the dish. Text gray of 700 item dot description. We're getting the description. Okay, nice. Now uh, let's add a view for the price of the dish, and we're going to have two buttons for adding the dish to the cart. So let's add a view for that item should be centered text text gray 700 and x should be large and fonts should be bold okay so let's add the item price let's add a dollar sign as well let's remove the space okay so in this view we are going to have two buttons for one for adding the item to cart and one for removing it so let's add touchable opacity let's design it adding of one it should be rounded full and we're going to add the background color from our theme colors so let's add a style background color and the opacity should be one okay we are seeing a dot we're going to use the icon here uh, i think we haven't imported the icon so let's just copy them from home screen copy them here okay we're going to use the minus icon here minus let's give it a stroke width of two and height of 20 and width of 20 and the color should be white white okay so we're seeing that so now let's just copy this and paste it one more time because it should be plus button okay so now in the middle we're going to add a text to show how many items we have added in the card so let's just say two for now but we will uh, change that later because later when we implement the redux we're going to display this data from redux okay so our restaurant screen is almost finished the only thing left to do is add a cart icon so when we move to the restaurant screen we are going to add a cart icon here so let's create a component for that let's name it cart icon functional component cart icon here and we're going to use that here okay so you can see the cart icon here let's move to it and design it we're going to give it the absolute position so 
that we can place it wherever we want we're going to display it at the bottom width should be full and z index should be 50 okay let's we're going to add our touchable opacity because it's going to be a button that will open a model to list all the items in the card let's use the color from our theme now let's flex this so that we're going to have a button and the price so justify between and items center let's give it a margin horizontally and it should be rounded full let's add a shadow as well so shadow of large okay next we're going to add a view for the number of items added in the card so let's add that should be text one should be extra bold and text should be white and large okay let's say three for now but we will change that later so let's make it round round it full and let's give it a background of white with an opacity of 0.3 okay now it's looking good next we're going to add a view card text so it should be text centered fonts extra bold and text should be white and let's make it a little big view card okay so the next and the last thing is to add the total amount of the card items so fonts should be extra bold text should be white and text large okay so we're going to use a dummy value here but later we will change that when we add the redux okay so we have finished the restaurant screen as well we are displaying the dishes and the restaurant data this icon is only going to show when user have added any item into, into the card so if he hasn't then we will show it like this otherwise it will show the card icon okay so this is it for this video in the next video we are going to design the card screen and the delivery screens make sure you subscribe the channel so see you in the next video